Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. This story goes back, I was at least 12, and it continued up till I was about 14, about to hit 15, maybe I was 15. Well, his friend of mine, he's a little bit older than me, he was 17, and um, maybe 18. Well, he had his license, and um, on Fridays, he'd do a little bit of pickup and delivery for his daddy. Well, I stay on the North Carolina and South Carolina line. About eight miles, I can be in South Carolina. Well, North Carolina alcohol is controlled by the ABC board, uh, called it Alcohol Beverage Control, I think, which... Uh, a lot of people refer to it as American Business College and uh, Aunt Bessie's Cafe. But in South Carolina, all the liquor stores down there were independently owned. Well, my friend's dad ran several poker houses. And I think he was about four or five he ran. These were houses he rented. And um, on the weekends, he'd pull up there and they'd have a spotter outside or if it was cold they'd be inside and um let everybody know on the inside if somebody pulled up and you better know somebody or either know how the password and all that to get in there well my buddy would carry myself and somebody else real young and um He'd have baseball bats and gloves in there. And I always thought we were going to play ball at some point, but evidently we wore it. I just didn't know it. Well, we'd ride down into South Carolina. We'd pull up to this one particular store, and he'd go around, and then he'd come out that back door, and uh, we'd load up a lot of cases of liquor. I can only assume that there was a better price to be had in South Carolina on this liquor, but bring it back into North Carolina at that amount was not of a good idea, but he had us as his cover. Well, when we'd get loaded up, we'd come back in and uh, we'd get through the back country and make our deliveries at all these spots where the poker houses were. And he'd always give us a little few bucks or something for going with him, but we were the cover. And I didn't really figure this out <laughs> till talking to him years later. But he was a friend of mine, and, you know, it was something to do. And I uh, didn't know exactly what I was doing, but it took me a while to figure it out. And uh, they thought it was funny, and I did too. You know, I was so young, there really nothing they could do with me. You know, he was going to be the one. And uh, one time when I wasn't with them, they did get chased, but they made it back into South Carolina. And there were so many back roads because they have to cease chasing you. But they'll call in to try and get you blocked from uh, other people, uh, other uh, law enforcement agencies in North Carolina. Well, all you do is just go down through a field. You don't go fast because you leave a dust trail. You go slow get back there in the woods and park for an hour or so. They'll eventually give up and go. But thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like. Hit that subscribe button. God bless.